sushi shirt is back! Hello, fellow human beings. So before gyms open back up, I really wanted to show you guys what my quarantine workout routine is, even though you don't care. Do you? You care? Oh my God, you care. Okay, but I'm gonna show it to you, whether or not you care. Honestly, I don't really have a workout routine. I just do whatever I want because if I do something that I don't wanna do, then I'm not gonna do it again. So if that makes any sense, congrats, because that means you understand my language. We are bonded together for eternity. Anyways, so I do work out at least for the past four days. I've been working out, I mean, that's basically seven times a week. Yeah, I'm gonna go, okay? We're gonna go right into that workout routine. Let's go, woo! Whee! Every day I usually do some cardio before I like do the actual, you know, weights and the legs and the fun stuff. So I run, as you can see, I'm running. Look at that, so fast, so amazing. I usually only run around three miles or do speed training, like 200 meter repeats, but I do call them 200 mile repeats because for some reason I still find that funny every time I say it. I do not like running. My mom runs marathons, but I just don't understand her. She's people like that don't under, oh, what the heck, like how? But anyways, I used to bike, okay? I used to bike a lot, but the other day I went biking on the streets and I live in New York City so I guess there's more rats than normal places I don't know but these rats are like the size of cats okay so I was biking and I put my foot down as, I, as soon as I put my foot down a rat came charging across the street and hit my leg my foot actually and it felt like a 20 pound brick hitting my foot and I still have PTSD from that day last week and I haven't gone biking since for one whole week that's insane but I was like biking every day before that I don't know man. It was a very scary time and I don't know if I will ever go biking again. It was so scary <laughs> So then usually I come home super sweaty and super gross after my run But I want to do more because I have no actual good muscle So I switch off every other day. I do leg day and then arm day So during leg day I try to do a lot of inner thigh work because my inner thighs are the flabby parts of my legs So I do as many as I can of these with this machine called thigh master and oh my god This was worth my parents money. I think they bought this like 20 years ago. It's amazing. It's painful though, obviously well well, usually I do it to the beat of Bohemian Rhapsody, which it doesn't really have a beat, but like, you know, I do it to the song. And usually after that, I can't walk, but I have to do more stuff. So I do like about a hundred squats and then I swing the kettlebell because that's a lot of fun, actually. I think my form is incorrect, but do I care? No, you know why? Because I still feel the burn, okay? But guys, kettlebells are also amazing. I also like the color. Do you see that red? It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Okay, it doesn't matter, does it? Okay, then I do other stuff like these, weird looking things so I'm gonna face the other direction. I don't know what they're called. They're like split thingy majiggies. Then I do like leg raises because it helps my butt. And then I do this balancing exercise and it kind of makes me look like a stack. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't know names for anything, okay? So please don't judge. And to be honest with you, that's about it for leg day. So sorry for the few exercises, but I'm not counting my ballet ones. So it's kind of too bad for you. Arm day is more like upper body day because I do my core. Like I do my core every day, but I do extra core. So I do plank for three minutes every day. But for upper body day, I do three minute plank and then also like a hundred sit-ups, but like different variations as you can see. So you have the normal sit-up and you have the crunches, which are very easy. Then you have the, I'm bicycling even though I have PTSD. And then you have the, I want to touch my toes, but I can't. And then you have the, I'm, I'm a butterfly, but I can't get up. And then you have the row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Then you have the, I honestly can't do anymore because I've done too many and then you have the I died because I did too many end of story so that's my core stuff and then I usually like to do hula hoop I, I honestly do not know what the muscles it uses but this hula hoop has a bunch of dents in it and it kind of massages my stomach area oh I almost forgot I also do side planks and banana it's a lot of fun I also do my back exercises extra so I do the backward sit-ups, then I hold. But I'm not gonna show you that because I'm not good at it, so. I'm not good at anything here, honestly, but who's watching it still? It's you, so that's your loss. Okay, then we get to the arms because my weakling little arms are gonna shrivel up if I don't do anything about them. So I have my eight pound weights because that's all I can lift, unfortunately. And I do squat and press 
about 10 of everything by the way and then the little curly things and then the side raises so I can learn to fly and then I try to punch but I fail miserably because I told you my spaghetti arms won't do anything and usually I end up holding them up above my head a little and just doing a little dance because it's kind of a good workout okay what I've noticed is that dancing not like actual dancing but just like vibing to good music but like jumping around a lot and running around your house like that listening to music is such good exercise okay oh yeah I also jump rope this randomly throughout the day. I will show off my skills here in a little montage, which I have never done before. So here's the first montage of my channel. So after my workout, I make sure to roll out. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done. You guys can follow along with this workout, okay? You can do this with me every day. You can call me. Call me at like 7 a.m. any day. I'll do it with you, okay? Motivation is key. Oh my god, ew. And guess what, guys? My legs are still itchy. It's been over a week since my sunburn, yet my legs still look like lizards full of scales. Yeah, okay. It's the special time of the video. I tell you to like and subscribe and comment about whether you think sweet potatoes are good or not. And if you don't think they're good, what is wrong with you? You aren't a human being, and I'm sorry to say, I might have to tell you goodbye. I'm kidding. I love you. Will you marry me? I want to go make granola now, so I'm going to leave. Goodbye, and I love you.